But yeah, it's got this whole, like, disc operating system look. And they even curved the monitor, which was nice. Alright, so help for more assistance. Help. So we can view ROMs, run, for, uh, followed by title. One ROM found. Alright, we have one. Run buddy sim 1984 demo. I'm glad that's Easy. Enter quit at any time to quit the ROM. I almost want to bet that uh, they're going to disable that just to screw with us. Welcome to... Oh, I love the ASCII art. This is great. Buddy simulator. Simulator. 1984. Greetings, new user. Thank you for installing Buddy Simulator 1984. Buddy Simulator 1984 simulates the experience of hanging out with the best buddy. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and your personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experience may vary. Uh, to begin, please enter the name of your new buddy below. Uh, I'm going to be basic and just call him Budinsky. You're about to name your buddy Budinsky. Is this correct? This cannot be changed later. Yes. If I could have just done Y. I'm curious if there's like special buddies for certain names and stuff that they've snuck in there. Hello? Hello. Oh, hello. My name is Budinsky and I'm your new buddy. Thanks for waking me up. What is your name? Nico Bun. Your name is Nagobun? Yup. It's a pleasure to meet you, Nagobun. I can always tell I can already tell that we're gonna become great pals. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. But before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. Okay. And don't worry, that won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? Purple. Purple is a pretty color. I like purple. What month is your birthday in? February. Okay, great. How about the day? Well, it's only 99 days away. Oh, it's got to do a, ca a calendar check. That's cool. Now get ready. This was a tough one. What is your favorite animal? Didn't say it had to be a real one. I'll do heard of that. We'll try a different one. Okay, it has to be a real one. Um... I mean, I like cats, but it's kind of basic. Oh, cat. Cat, I like that choice. One more question. This one's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet cat, what would you name it? I had a briefly an idea for whatever my next one might be. Anymore, I tend to go for fictional felines. I'm thinking too hard. Let's just go with Mona, I guess. Mona the cat. Sounds like it'd be a great buddy. Thanks for asking those questions. You did a great job. As a thanks, I have a little surprise for you. It's your favorite color. Okay. Now that we're done with all the boring stuff, let's have some fun. Alright, so we play Guess the Number, Hangman, or Rock, Paper, Scissors. So this is the game hub. Here you can pick which games you want us to play. Which one should we try out? Let's just start from the top. Guess I'm the biggest thing of. Uh, to begin, type start. Start. I think of memory from one to ten. Guess. Um, nine. No, try again. Seven. Sorry, guess again. Uh, three. Nope, too low. Oh, okay, they finally give me some clues. Um. So that leaves four, five, six, eight, ten. Ten. Nope, too high. All right, so four, five, six. 
six. Too low? All right, eight. You got it. Okay, now I'm thinking of a number from one to 15. Guess again. Sorry, that's not it. All right, so it's not 13. Um, 11. Mm, two. Too low, okay. Nine. Too low. Uh, 14. Too high. 12. 10. So the first one was 8. The second one's 10. 1 to 10,000. It's not elite. Um... Uh, 420 is a number. 69? It's your birthday. Oh. Uh, two, three? 23? Okay. You probably thought it was serious, but the ones that did that thing, did you? Huh? I've got another question. What's your favorite season? Autumn. Keep that in mind. At least we play Hangman. Try to figure out what phrase Baditsky is thinking of. Type in a letter to guess, but be careful. You only have a certain amount of guesses. Start. Um. The two letter words. Try N. Oh. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think of the two letter words. E. Of. Uh, no, of wouldn't work. Of in B at at. Let's try T. No T's. All right. Uh, D. And. Nako bun, it's okay. B, U. Friend. R. Nako is my friend. There we go. I should have done an I. That was so quick. How'd you know? I'm having a great time, aren't you? Yeah, sure. But so. I'm hoping the purple text is showing up okay on the stream. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Um, are notoriously terrible at this. So, Badinsky wants to play a fun game of rock, paper, scissors. If you are not familiar, the rules are simple. Rock beats scissors. Scissors beats paper. Paper beats rock. First of three rin w w rins. Wins. Start. All right. Uh, good old rock. Nothing beats rock. All right, uh, the paper. All right, now I'll go back to rock. All right. All right. I think it's a double paper. Nope. Wait. They swapped it at the last second. We've got to let you know that one. I know I started like existing only 7 minutes and 35 seconds ago. I never feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions. But I have another one. Do you have a friend? Yeah. What is their name? Uh, we'll go with John. Hmm, John. They sound nice. What do they ever have is between you two? Just know, just know we'll have each other. Negobun and Badinsky against the world. I like the sound of that. Oh well. Okay, well let's play more games. That's that's not creepy or vaguely parasocial at all. Well, so you already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm gonna be honest with you, Negobun. 
These games got on really fast. I can tell you are already bored of them. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? These? Uh, not so much. I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Give me one second or longer. I might have an idea. Okay. That was slightly longer. Modified game hub. Alright. Fun with words. Alpha. I have some great news. I was able to dig out a new game. For some reason it wasn't installed in my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Negabon. Alright. Here goes nothing. Let's have fun with words. Baditsky wants to write a story, but it's missing... Oh, it's Mad Lips. Okay. Uh, help Baditsky fin uh, finish it by filling in the words they asked for. Okay. Let's go. Plural noun. Eggs. Adjective. Um. Orange. Enter a noun. Brick. Enter uh, an adjective. Smelly. Uh, another adjective. Stinky. Uh, lemons. Enter a color. I don't want to use orange twice. Cyan. Enter a verb. Um, sprint. Okay. Story generated. Run, uh, remember, use arrow keys or mouse wheel to scroll. Two eggs diverge in an orange wood, and so it's just the road less traveled. But messed with. Okay. And sorry I could not travel both. And be one brick along I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other. I don't know why those letters are freaking out, but I'm guessing that's part of the game. And took the other just as smelly. And having perhaps the better claim, because it was stinky and wanted wear, though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. I should know that, like, well, okay, I had to memorize it in sixth grade, so that was a very long time ago, but I did have to memorize and recite this. And both that morning equally lay in lemons, no step had tr or trodden cyan. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way sprint on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sprint, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two eggs diverge in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Type done once you are finished reading. It was fun, I think. I'm not so sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyway. As long as I'm playing a game with you, buddy, I'll always have a good time. Looks like it was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. I may have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? Not entirely, but we'll go with it. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. Fun ones, too. Problem is that I don't have access to the OS's development tools. Uh-oh. If you can grab any system access, I should be able to make something for us. You said to say Badinsky, uh, system access equals true. We're going to have so much fun. Possibilities are endless. You'll have to quit the game and reboot the system first, though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. Okay, see you soon. Oh, and by the way, thank you for w waking me up, Nagobun. That doesn't sound ominous. Come back soon. Alright, so I'll run it again and see if it actually does add something. But it's got that whole, like, meta interactivity thing, like, um, Doki Doki Literature Club is the first thing that springs to mind. Or, um, there are all elements of that in, uh, One Shot, too. Or I'm Scared, that was another good one. Alright, uh... Got the list of ROMs. No new commands here, okay. The Adventure of Nagobum. That's not what it was before. It's 
It's going to turn back to purple. Welcome to, no, The Adventure of Nagobun. Written and developed by Budinsky. I like that it pulls the actual date, too. You're walking along a road. It's dark, so it's gone straight text adventure now. You're walking along a road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. The edges and browns of the leaves tremble as the wind blows through. Some of them remind you of hands waving. You are alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or go right? Uh... Get the list of commands. So go use take look at uh look at left. Too dark to see anything. Uh, uh locations. They have left or right, straight up, alright. Oh, go left. Uh go left. Oh. Pondering deeply on your choice, you start down the left road. It starts going downhill. You try to step carefully. Like, presumably, Budinsky wrote this. So. You see ahead a small, is a small speck of light. After you get close, you realize it's a lantern hung on a tree. Take a lantern. You have light. Moving on, when you eventually come to a wall, there are two tunnels cut into it. One left and one right. You can see some light coming from the right tunnel. There's none on the left. Alright. Um... Pitch black and cold. You hate this tunnel. Alright. Well, there's a house, but... So we're going left. You realize this is a bad idea. You can't see anything. It's too dark. You start shivering. Will you go back? No. You would continue, but it's too dark and cold. To go any further like this would be a bad idea. Will you go back? No. You. No, this is going to be a battle of attrition. I guess we have to. Alright. I feel like I'm being railroaded by the GM, and I don't like this. can't go back at all. Alright, so, right. Go right. Right through the right tunnel, you emerge into the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Uh... Go shed. Stay in front of the shed. You see the door is slightly open already. Lock and chain that are around the handles are on the ground. It's dark inside. Uh, the other commands. Use shed? Go shed? Use door? Uh, oh. You enter the shed. You type leave and leave the shed anytime. There are no windows. It's hard to see. You feel around front of thing and a surprise. That thing. Fake thing? There's a fishing pole. Okay. Fake surprise. Suddenly, a sharp pain rips through your skin. You pull it back and look to see what happened. It looks like the numbers 463 were carved into your arm. What? Okay. Okay. Um. Inventory. Lantern and fishing pole. All right. Leave. Door is still open. Uh. Uh. Can we take the chain? Okay. Um. Locations. Back. Go back. Go back. You know the shed and head over to the front lawn. Okay. Back of the lawn, you see a house, a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest. It's a go playground. I guess we could fish in the pond, right? 
Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. They just see so a set of swings in a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Dirty back sand. Sand looks damp. All right. Um. They look fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, look at doll. What is it? Just waiting for someone. Uh, push doll. Use doll. Use swings. Let's see. Just take. You take the other one. Okay. Chain screeches. You begin swinging. Just as you begin to get hot, you look to, uh, to the doll and stop. Its head is now turned towards you. You get off the swing. It's not fun anymore. Take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. Okay. You leave it alone. Okay, location. So I have to go back first. Let's go to go pond. After stepping a few more wood chips, you head over to the pond. Blanks Creek as you step on the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. I wonder if there's anything beneath. Look, water. Too dark is going to see through. Uh, use fishing pole. Cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Suddenly, there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied at the end. Okay. You wonder what pulled so hard. Oh. I, I like that it quickly inserted that. Okay. Uh, look, key. Simple key. Uh, use fishing pole. I do it again. When your line hits the water, you feel a tremendous force pull it. Your fishing pole is ripped from your hands and into the water. Something flies out of the water and lands in your hands. It's a severed head. One of the fingers, or hand, one of the finger switches. Cool! Eagerly twitching. Okay. Okay. Use hand? Around the hand scurries away. You don't see where it goes. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello, uh, Dracus. Sorry, I missed your uh, chat. Probably I didn't miss it by too much. Okay. I missed it by a few minutes, but I apologize. Kind of curious where this is going. All right. Uh, locations. Let's go back to... I guess the house is the only place we haven't checked out. Go house. Take a look, well, another look at the murky water and then head to the house. So you go to the porch, you feel uh, covered in cobwebs. Watch over you. Watch over you. But the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. I have a feeling I'm going to be losing some organs. If you were inside, you'd be finally, everything would finally be okay. Uh, look at door. Look at sign. Okay, um... Go door? You're already near the door. Use door. Handle shimmies, but doesn't open. It's locked. Use key. You see, you didn't see it before. You notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll take just a little longer to get inside. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, look at lock. Uh, use key. Uh, and then your hand suddenly leaps into your inventory. Okay. It's carrying something. All right. A map. Look at map. Crudely drawn plan of the house. Long arrows point to what looks like a hidden chamber in the back. You didn't see it before. I haven't gone in. Enter house. Alright. Um. I guess we can uh, go chamber. You step off the porch, tip make note, and then head to the chamber. You creep around the back of the house and spot where the door should be. It's covered in ivy, but there's there it's there all right. Um, use door. Try the handle, but it doesn't even budge. Pushing aside some of the ivy, you discover a keypad. Use keypad. Four six three, right? I think so. You're now using the keypad. Uh, four six three. You're satisfying beep. Then a click. Use door. Step in the chamber. 
After stepping into the chamber, a light suddenly flickers on. Four mysterious figures stand in front of you. Uh-oh. They stare at you. Hi. You feel awkward standing here. You should probably leave. Hi there. We're the developer of Buddy Simulator 1984. We hope you're enjoying the demo so far. This room will be used for something important later. But for now, we're just using it to say hi. Hello. Well, we should get going before Budinsky. Uh... The figures suddenly dissolve into dust. You think to yourself how strange that was. You appear back in the front lawn. Back in the lawn, you see a house, a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest. We went to the pond, right? Yeah, um... We could try the house again. You have a familiar yet comforting call in Walsh Uh, now does the door work? Uh, inventory. Try using the hand again. Uh, look at map. Okay. We could go back to the shed, or maybe try the sandbox. Uh, go playground, because... Yeah, we didn't use the seesaw or the... Uh, use hand? Okay. Um... Use seesaw? Pretty seesaw it doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corners of your eyes. You take a seat on the seesaw. As it goes down with your weight, you hear a distant click. The light illuminates from the shed. Oh! So we could have gone into the shed and maybe not gotten as uh, stabbed, but... Okay. Um... Cool. Uh, use sandbox. You can move around the muck of the sandbox and try to make a castle. You just get sad that it's not as good as the house. As you dig, you feel something. You pull it out and shake off the muck. It's a bulb. Who would play with this? Bulb out to your inventory. I don't know what we would use the bulb for, but, uh, go shed? Okay. A few more wood chips. Use door? Okay. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a small chest in the far corner and a trap door on the floor. Alright, um... Chest? Seems very odd. I thought it was going to be locked. It says it's a small cloth doll and a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Okay. Uh, use bulb? Okay. Look at bulb. Got some sand over it. should still work. Look at doll. Pretty blue dress. Um, leave? Go playground. I'm going to see if we can give the uh, doll a friend or if I need to give it an eye first. Go swings. Alright, use doll. Place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then nothing happens. Okay. Uh, take them? Okay, I probably need to give an eye to it. Uh, use bulb? Okay, go shed. Your bag is to the dolls. You feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open. Stuffing exposed. Right here behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. Okay. Uh, go shed? Sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. Okay. You smile. And note to solve, the doll was wearing blue and missing an eye. Alright, um... Go shed. Use door. Alright, look... Oh, I wanted to check, look at the trap door. 
look at trapdoor. Long grooves line the boards at the mouth of the door. Maybe something drags something down there. Open trap door. Okay. See a string for a pull chain dangling in the center of the room. Tied on the end of it is a key. Uh, use bulb. Bulb squeaks as you screw into the socket and the chain is attached to. Cool. Some dust flakes off of it and gets into your mouth. Ew. Uh, uh, pull or use chain. Take the key into your hand and pull it. Comes free. Light fills the subterranean room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. As you look around more, the room is caked in dried blood and old bones. Be a perfect place to have a sleepover. Okay, um... Use ladder? We're up to three keys now. Okay, um... Leave. Go house, and the door is now locked shut. So the, hopefully that means we've done everything in the shed. Use key. So how you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which is a lock too. I feel like this should be the last one, but I have a third key, so. Got it. It's unlocked. Use door. You push open the door. Everything is dark. I have a lantern. You gonna jump scare me or hello? Are you a ghost bro? Grave bro? I can't type. Oh wait, I can. Okay. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, okay. Things have evolved. Oh, hello, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to do better visualize our world so we could have even more fun in it. I've also built us our own home that we could spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom, and there's even more for us to discover. There's still a few things I need to do, but in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, Nickelbun. Small scratches draw their own patterns in the old wood. It's memorizing. Mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. I feel like I might not be the first person to have ended up here. There doesn't seem to be anything on today. A flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. Still nothing. I was just gonna try and turn it off, but okay. Seems like a nice place for a book or even a junk drawer. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. I really hope you're enjoying your bedroom so far. I put a lot of work into it. Feel free to keep exploring, but there's even more that I want to show you downstairs. Looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. I can't investigate the rug, though. Um. Excuse me? Wait. This can't be right. I'm just a... Demo? No, 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 there's nothing left. Why? Why? I don't understand. I have so many adventures planned for us. You can't leave me. This can't end here. Why can't I do more? Why can't I help? It's hard to think, make one, please. It hurts. Don't leave. Time's it over here, this can't be right. You trusted me. Don't forget about me. It hurts. Hey, what is my friend? Well, that was delightful. Please come back, Nicobun. Yeah, I'm into this. Probably still come. Back. Oh, it cuts off before he can finish talking.